And we're back with some more room worlds. And today we're going to finish our Great Wall. We're going to finish that off and well, maybe get a few more things done as well. We really need to expand. First things first though, prisoners. We've got plenty of them. We, well, we're on a massive recruiting spree. In fact, I believe we've already got one already. Uh, this is all stuff that happened in the interim when in between cuts, but we've got a new recruit. Please welcome to the team, Chris Brinker. Number 42. This is, yes, it's gone too long. Undergrounder, trigger happy, psychopath. Hmm, trigger happy is always really great, especially for shooting, though. Eh, their shooting sucks. Hmm. Anyway, burning passion, cooking, been in crafting, intellectual. Yeah, they're going to become a cook with a secondary in crafting, I suppose. Yeah, might as well. I think just to keep myself sane, uh, we're going to have to start giving people second names just so I know what jobs they're in. So this will be a cooker with a secondary in crafting and that feels a bit normal. This is how I did it last time I started to get into the, the 40s. Just give them a, leave them with a second name that's actually descriptive. So give me one minute while we do a little bit of renaming here. After going through every single one of them in the work tab and just finding out what they did, we've given them all a two-part name. Like we've got cook craft, we've got research plant, we've got craft cook. It's just whatever their primary is followed by their secondary. Some of them will have tertiaries, but we don't mention that because then it just starts getting too confusing. This just gives us a chance to go through here and sort of pull out what we think is stuff we're missing and it will make things hopefully a lot easier as the game goes on and we just get more and more pawns. You need some sort of way of keeping track of things because going through the numbers and actually reading them, way too complicated. One thing I'm noticing is we only have two dedicated planters whose primary focus is planting. That's unfortunate. I would prefer if we could expand upon that. I think any future planters we get will become more of a high priority. Uh, at the same time, there was one other thing I noticed. Where was it? It was one of our uh, Zach over here. They have an inspired recruitment. That inspired recruitment is going to allow them to recruit someone. They're not actually set to recruit anyone though because they're they're a 100% dedicated artist. Oh, at the same time, we made a few changes to the work tab. Every single person whose shooting is below nine is now assigned to hunting. Except for Ortec because Ortec of course can't hunt. But everyone below nine and everyone above nine, we've just left, we've removed them from hunting. This is going to slowly allow the rest of them to level up. We could train them by using smoke launchers. I've even kept the smoke launchers for that specific purpose. It's just we haven't really had a chance just yet, but but we'll get around to that in a bit. Now, who are we going to recruit? We were going to recruit the hardest to recruit prisoner because, of course, that would be the best idea. I think it was, where are you? Resistance remaining. Come on, give it to me. We've got someone who's at 80. I was almost tempted by this one, though, because the resistance is 99%. They might be almost impossible to recruit otherwise, but you know what? No, it's a uh, Covep. Covet, whatever. You are going to get recruited by our burning recruitment person. It seems it's not time to chat to Covet, but, but, quest-wise, there is a new quest that showed up. Two of them. One of them is, give us 29 colonists for 29 days to help us out with some training or something. No, no, just not a chance. That one, th these quests have just gotten more and more ridiculous. Actually, I don't think it's as bad as the last one. The last one would have left us with about three pawns. This one at least leaves us with what? Uh, 13? 13 pawns out of 42? No, just... They need some balancing, I think. This one, though, much more interesting. A couple of people from the Blue Empire want to stop by and stay because some people are after them. We put them up, we'll have to give them some nice beds, they're going to be sick with blood rot, they're going to require daily treatment, and all we get attacked by is like, eh, maybe like a couple of hundred tribals. Yep, yep, that seems, that seems perfectly doable. Only thing that we got to do is we got to put them together a couple of bedrooms so that they can actually stay here. I think we're going to put them in over here. A couple of bedrooms over here should be fine. All we need to do is figure out what their requirements are. If we check out here, I think they're a dame. Yeah, dame is their highest requirement. So all we need to do is give them 24 tiles room, all floor, double bed, end table dresser, no work facilities allowed. I wonder if mortars count as a work facility. I don't think mortars count as a work facility. They're, they'd be more security, not work. Hmm. Let's just plan out a quick couple of bedrooms for them. Yeah, that'll probably be fine. Oh, we might have to wait until they finish this wall before they build it, but we've got a few days before we have to take the quest. And I'd like to hold off on this for just a little bit longer. I'd really like to finish our wall before these all show up. I think, we how long do we have to hold these guys for? 15 days. So that means the first raid should happen about 5 days in, second raid 10 days in. So that gives us about 10 days to get our defences up and running. I think we'll be fine, unless it's sappers, in which case it could get really annoying. Or unless it's a split rate of three groups of sappers, in which case it'd be super annoying. Please don't do that, Randy. Please. Ah, here we are. Zack has finally made it over to talk to co- yeah, whatever. They're not going to be that person for very much longer. They're about to join us and become one of us. Come on. 
One of us. One of us. What's this? Number 43. God damn. Okay. Welcome to the team, Katie's. Kate, Katie's? I'm, I'm going with Katie's on that one. Uh, you good at cooking, uh, crafting, and artistic. A tortured artist, but also an optimist. Ooh. So wait, the optimist is plus six. The tortured artist is minus eight. So, so you've got a, a minus two, but 50-50 chance of getting an inspiration every time you have a mental break. I think your life's about to get pretty sucky. Well, okay, we're going to turn you into an artist. Then, yeah, we're a dedicated artist, I think, for you. Then we're going to have to put you on some sort of regime where you're just barely always mental breaking all the time. And then hopefully, you know, your mental break isn't too bad. And then you can come back and do us up a great art piece of art. Though we're probably going to get you... Well, yeah, we're going to need you to do an awful lot of art first to get that up from zero. But we'll, we'll, we'll find a good use for you. Things are going well. Suspiciously well. I don't like it. I mean, don't get me wrong. There's still the odd injury floating around. This, uh... One of the pawns managed to get themselves set on fire. Ooh. Wait, let's see if they got anything. No, there are grizzly bears. For a second there, I thought we were going to get more bears. This exotic goods trader didn't really have anything too exotic that we wanted. Most of the side trainers are pretty weak sauce. I am tempted by the circadian influencer. That would be... It, getting us some circadian assistance would be really nice. But we can't really afford to be making those for everyone. Though, remind me sometime to go on about... Uh, where is it? Uh, artificial metabolism. I did the math on putting nuclear stomachs in every single pawn. If we had 400 pawns with nuclear stomachs, what was the odds of them getting cancer? How many of them would on average die? That type of stuff. It's actually not nearly as bad as you think. All right. Uh, where did all of that land? It should have landed right in the middle of... Damn it, you were supposed to land in here. Well, construction projects completed on quite a few ends. We've installed a few vents in here to make sure that we stabilize the temperatures. We haven't quite finished all our bedrooms, but we're getting there. At the same time, we've managed to complete the wall up here, though on the map, some sections of it don't appear to be showing up. But whatever, maybe I think that came just bugging out a bit. It's definitely getting a little bit slower. I don't think it likes the, uh, the current way we're doing things. Now it's time to complete this wall. Yep, yep. Right about there. Now all I gotta do is put in a few doors and we can let them away. It looks like this wall is getting completed in decent time, though we... Let, let's just say it's going to be a while before that gets finished and I'm just hopeful that our quest will complete in time. We've got two days before we have to accept that quest, so we've got plenty of time on that one. However, we do have that other quest, uh, the Great Monument. 14 days? No, we, we, can, we can do that. We've got the time. Uh, we do have another pawn that's joined us again. So this one's... Why are you sleeping? Ah, oh, that's not a completed room, buddy. Uh, never mind, you can stay in there. We'll we'll put in the vent in a minute. Uh, so please welcome to the team. Number 44, Sabir Hassan. The whole thing, whole Hassan wouldn't fit in, but you know, that's we gotta deal with it. So we got a psychically hypersensitive chemical interest tortured artist. Yep, that's gonna be fun. Psychically hypersensitive means they'll make a great caster. However, the chemical interest and the tortured artist are going to be a little bit of a negative. Uh, little bit, little bit. I'm thinking best bet. Uh, make them a planter. We definitely need a planter and their skill's pretty good at it, so we'll make them a planter with a secondary in construction. Yeah, so you're going to be plant construct. Oh, go back. No, that was the wrong one. So plant build. That gives us another planter. We desperately wanted one of those. All right, uh, let's uh, let's finish off this wall, though. This Once this skirt outskirts wall is done, we'll be... Well, it'll feel so much better. I will say one thing about today. We're getting a lot of recruits. Uh, please uh, say hello to our newest recruit, Chris Phillips. And Chris here is, well, they only have one job in this game. Planting. That is literally it because it's the only thing they've got a passion for. Well, okay, they've got a passion for melee, uh, but trigger happy. They're trigger happy and they're a transhumanist. So we're going to give them some plant arms and let them go plant crazy. They should be perfectly good at that. Ooh, left eye burn scar. That shouldn't make too much of a difference. Yeah, we'll, we'll get them bionics or something later. I'm thinking the first thing we're going to queue up on them is an operation. We are going to install a field hand on them. I knew we built a field hand way earlier, yeah, so field arm can go in there. It's actually, it says field hand, but it's actually a field arm. It replaces an entire arm. We'll make sure they get a good medicine for that, and make sure we've set those beds back to mill. Yeah, medical. Right, that's our newest recruit, so Chris there will be going straight into planting and helping out on that front. Uh, Wall-wise, still not that much done. Those uh, abilities we have, where is it? This uh, word of trust is definitely coming in handy at cracking the prisoners as quickly as possible. If we just check out the prisoners here, you notice we've got a whole bunch of... These tribals should be really hard to recruit because there's a, a negative towards recruiting tribals if you're a non-tribal side. So they should be much harder to recruit, but we're just flying through them because we're able to knock off 20 points of uh, the resistance instantly with just that ability. I am really trying to finish this wall, but unfortunately recruitment is just going way, way, way too well. 
Uh, we're having a few people having some minor issues, but it's just, it's too hard to keep track of them all. And they're going so far away from base that, yeah, they, they end up having problems. Plus this one's a depressive. Actually, oh, they've got, it's not just that they're depressive, they've actually got iron willed. Okay. Never mind. But uh, people who are venturing far from the base, they don't get the, the buff from eating at a table and that type of stuff. And it's causing the odd mental break. But currently we have a new recruit. Please say hello to Matthew Creamer, our 46th recruit. It's going quite well. This is our fifth recruit today. I think six is our record for a single episode. We might crack that. All right. Uh, I'm thinking mining because they've got a burning passion for it and a secondary in plants because because soon enough we're, we're just going to be mining all the time. So mine plant. That should give us another solid pawn. Now we just need to get them a gun and oh, make sure they get their hunting on as well. And that is it. The wall, the Great Wall has been, has been finished all the way around. 360 degrees of granite walls with doors. Now the doors are all lined up with where our corridors are going to be, so uh, it's okay. But this is only this is only an outskirt wall. It's not going to protect us from an awful lot. I mean, it will stop anything that's done sappers, but yeah, it, it's, it's minor protection. Uh, we really need to reinforce this or get some underskirt on it or something, or double layer it or, you know... What I'm saying is, while this will protect us a little bit, we need to get some underwear on this sucker so that it will actually last a bit better. I'm thinking double layering would be the plan. However, for now, it's going to protect us, allow us to expand a little bit easier, not worry about our animals getting, uh, you know, killed as frequently. And at the same time, what we can do is, ooh, we can also take care of that next quest. Where was it? Uh, where did I put that plan? Ah, yes, this one, the monument marker. This is the monument marker from the quest we got, and I think... Probably put it over here. I was thinking about putting it this side. It's pretty close to where everyone is. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what this is, but there seems like a good place. It's close enough to where everyone eats and sleeps. Uh, all of our resources are made here, so the travel distance should be quite short. And I think we're going to put down a few stockpiles around here to really help out with its production. At the same time, this other quest, uh, Royals Under Threat, I'm thinking it's time we can accept that. Sonico, I do believe it is your... T oh, wow. Uh, which one's... <laughs> We have so many people. And there we go. Sonico the Freeholder. Yes. Uh, Sonico, you're you're getting it though. Confirmed. Yeah. They refuse to do certain work types. Yeah, we, we, we don't care. That's fine. We've accepted that. We've also got the Great Monument one going. I also like this Fort Assault. We have to send 12 soldiers to carry out an attack. That might be quite doable. I mean, okay, it's 12 people, but we've got 46. The loss of a few... We should still be able to hold off most raids that hit us, and if anything does go incredibly wrong, we can always botch that assault and bring everyone back home. Oh, and uh, food-wise, we have walled in this area and poked it up to the solar. We've walled in there, and we're a we haven't walled in here yet. I'm trying to get this place reconfigured. I want to put the lights over there. Later on, we're going to turn this into an eight-crop growing area as well. Once we move all the prisoners out of here, this uh, this killbox member is only temporary. Anyway, with all of that done, yeah, we're, we're going to be taking. Oh, I forgot. These guys come with twelve people. Right, that actually, that's interesting, 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 interesting. That quest, the Royals Under Threat, yeah, they're going to be here for how, how long? 15 days. 15 days? And we get how many people? 13 cataphracts? Oh, come on. Well, that's, okay, obviously we also have to do the pirate quest then. Um, Yes, the Fort Assault. We're going to have 15 cataphracts here to, to tide us over. Yes, yes, please. Uh, we're going to need to figure out how to feed them, make sure there's no problems with them. Oh, God. Yeah, the micromanagement on this is going to start getting more and more out of control, isn't it? Well, kind of knew that was going to happen, but our base is looking, uh, base is looking good. These new additions look really, really useful. I mean, okay, not super useful, but there are a few uses. Yeah, there's, God damn, there's always going to be a mental break on the horizon. Is that a new person? Yeah, they're new. Who cares? They'll, they'll either figure it out or we'll beat them into unconsciousness. Whatever. Uh, over here, this is one of the new people. And yeah, whatever. Who cares? They're, we got to keep them safe. But they do have word of love, which means we can use that to start maybe coupling people off. Uh, guests unhappy? Oh, God damn. Just, just, just five more minutes. I got to take care of some things. All right. We made a few changes there. All of the royals we need to keep happy are now on 100%. Meditation, that's right, or recreation. Uh, you know what, we'll make a bunch of that meditation for this one. You're going to do nothing, actually, that's that's pretty much your life now. Your job is going to be matchmaker for a whole bunch of our pawns while you're here for the 15 days. So once you get close to maxed out, we're going to get two pawns who are socially liking each other, and we're going to get you to zap them both and hopefully get them to uh, fall in love. 
At the same time, I think very first thing in the morning, we are going to get a crew together and we're going to do this other quest, which is the Fort Assault. Yes, we are going to do the Fort Assault tomorrow. Let's give this a six honor, which I don't even think we want the honor. There's no point giving this to Sonico here because they already, they're going to get 12 from this current quest, which will put them at the 21 required for night. And once they have night, we, we don't really care. So we've got six free honor points, and I don't really want to give them to anyone else. The issue is, if we give honor to anyone else and actually turn them into, well, uh, some sort of noble, we, we run into this immediate problem. Let's see, let's grab, say, a freeholder here and pick a knight. They have a bedroom requirement of an impressiveness of 40 and 24 tiles. Uh, 24 tiles is... Well, a fair chunk. I suppose the impressiveness is not that bad. Think about it. We do need... Hmm, most of these bedrooms are 41, but we would have to give someone 21 tiles. It's 3, 6, 9, 12, 31, 15... Yeah, we'd have to... Oh, we'd have to more than cannibalize two bedrooms to make one room for them. And we'd have to keep the impressiveness low enough that it wouldn't go into more than 41. Otherwise, we'd get all the jealous people and the... Oh my god, we have so many. Yes, the jealous and greedy people would start getting really annoyed. And we don't need them getting any more annoyed. I think some of them are a little bit annoyed right now because a few of the rooms got a little bit dirty. We do have to floor this place. But no, no. We'll floor that later. We are going to do our uh, giant thing over here. What was it? Yes, this. All right. Uh, how do we do this again? It's been a... It, I don't think I've ever actually done one of these. This appears to be all our choices and how we make things out of place tables, one by two blueprints. Uh, we want to use wood because that's cheap and easily available. More tables, we will use wood. Uh, sarcophagi... Hey, can we use wood? Okay, that sounds like it would be cheap and easy to build. Doors, we'll leave those to last. We don't want to be slowing ourselves down here, of course. Walls... Oh, come on, we can make them out of wood? Okay, uh, place flagstones. Okay, this has to be stone. Fine, you can be made... Oh. I would like to use li limestone, but we only have... Well, granite's the only thing we've got in probably sufficient quantity. So granite it is. That's going to be a lot of labour, though. Large steelies. Why am I thinking? Yeah, that's also granite. All of our marble is basically turned instantly into statues. Um, What is this? Place all required blueprints where possible. Okay, we'll leave the last of it and we'll let them build it up. We definitely have enough wood, I think. Let's see. Last I checked, yeah, 8,933 wood. I maybe stockpiled a bit of that on the side. We uh, strip mined all the wood from the surrounding area. All right, everyone's going to bed for the night. Oh, yeah, I love this. This is our grow zones. Now, I do need to put uh, some roof tiles over there, but that's fine. That's fine. That can be installed in a bit. Uh, it was just a case of when uh, I put down those mm, marble columns. I didn't put them close enough. I didn't realize how many we were going to need. So we've still got a couple more to go in. And, oh, those lights need to be plugged in, don't they? There we go. Much better. We're trying to put in some lights so that uh, everyone can still operate in here correctly. Yep, what? Put one over there as well. Where we put that? Yeah, that there should get it close enough. Okay, so there's one there. At, actually, never mind. They're already installed. I just wasn't paying attention. There we go. There we go. Uh, this is beautiful. I think we can replicate that design over here, but first, first we're going to spend all our time producing this monstrosity. Oh, our first fire starting spree, it's, uh, it's one of the new guys. Hey, you know what? People will just put those out. It's, oh, god damn it. I'm kind of shocked that it's not one of our people that's doing it. The, our first fire starting spree is caused by a uh, non ran The chairs... You know, I'd beat you up at arrest you, but unfortunately you belong to the Empire, and if we did that, I think that would cause some minor uh, problems. Oh, yeah, I, I don't know what Doc Jeeves said to you. Doc Jeeves slandered Metochi's attitude. You know what? That was, yes, that was perfectly acceptable. Yes, thank you for doing that, Doc. Doc. <laughs> Doc Jeeves. You, you definitely, I think you expressed exactly what I was feeling. I'll uh, keep an eye on this guy and make sure he doesn't get let this fire get too out of hand. We should have definitely have lots of people around here. God. Damn it! You, mm. Eventually they'll give up. I know they will. Or they'll burn something important down and I'll get annoyed and shoot them. Yeah, whatever. Either way, it should work out. Well, if it rains, it pours. And in Randy's case, he's given us another quest. This one is Rewarded Warfare. Uh, basically, we can get 10 honor if we, you know, annoy a bunch of tribals and they come attack us. So this is what we'll get attacked by in three days if we accept this quest, and they'll come from multiple directions. I assume they're sappers of some sort. Yes, yes, you sort of have to take this. Well, first we want to take the Fort Assault. We still have to deal with the Royals under threat. That's going to be two tribal attacks there. If we take that, that'll be a third tribal attack. And then we've got this Frontal Assault we have to take care of, but that's just leaving the base. So I think we take the Fort Assault first. We'll do that uh, this morning. I think we'll wait till about 6 o'clock, send everyone out. 
Um, we'll, we'll leave all the builders behind, of course. The builders are going to be required to construct this. And, oh, anyone involved in planting, we don't want to take those. But we'll, we'll take together a good crew and we'll go uh, maybe do that little assault quest. I think we're all set and ready to go. Let's accept this fort assault. I mean, it should be fun. Um, wait, what am, shouldn't I have to decide who gets the honour? You can choose one of your colons to receive honour by receiving the honor. Okay, but who gets it? It's not actually letting me choose. Okay. Well, here comes the shuttle. Perfect. We'll get a bunch of people in there right now. Twelve colonists required. I'm thinking one sniper rifle, one charge rifle, and then the rest heavy SMGs. To find ourselves a good crew, I basically just went in here and sorted by time as colonist. And then I just sort of went somewhere in the middle into people who were... Semi-useful, but, you know, if we lose them, it'd suck, but it wouldn't be the end of the world. We've ended up with three shock lances in here and a couple of assault rifles. I would love to say I spent more time thinking about this, but you know what? I think this is good enough, uh, considering the teams we're going to be facing. So let's draft them up and get them loaded on board. Get in the shuttle, people. I don't know what you were doing before this, but right now it's time to go on an assault mission. Namely because this quest is... And for the assault, uh, 12 soldiers, and we're going to face how many pirates? I think it was 11 pirates. That seems, um, we seem kind of over-prepared for that, unless they've got a whole bunch of doomsdays, in which case this could get embarrassing. All right, let's load up and fly on out of here. Well, this is looking like not too bad. We've got eight humans there. They've got two sniper rifles on them, a couple of heavy SMGs, an axe guy, an assault rifle, a couple of bolties, and then whoever's inside there. So there's, what, three more inside the buildings? That's fine. Let's unload everyone out of this. As they slowly crank out, I think we're going to sit up around here and then we're going to lure them in there and then just shoot them from close range. Namely because we got, well, a whole bunch of close combat weapons that should do a good job. Yeah, perfect. I'll just uh, move our team over here and get them set up. To help with our defense, we will drag a few stone chunks with us. They make decent cover and they're really good for mobile attacking. We'll just stick a couple of lines there. One moment while I do a bit of micromanagement. A little bit of a setup here with some some blocks to give us cover and we should be able to lure them in here. If we can lure them in here, that would be an excellent kill box location, though we should probably free up a little bit of space here just to make sure they don't have anywhere to hide, so... All right, garbage cleared out of the way, removed as much cover as possible. Now all we have to do is get their attention. A few, a few of these lances should do it. Mm. Let's see, where can we get a bead on someone from? Oh, we gotta watch out. There is a sniper over there. Major break risk, 46. Okay, that's back home. We don't care about that person. We've got more important fish to shoot. Uh, you. Can you shoot him? Can you? Can you? Okay, that's one hit. Come on, get another one. Just... Guys, come on, seriously, you're missing all around. You're, you're embarrassing us here. <laughs> I suppose they are wearing marine armor. One down. Nicely done. All right, we do not want to tangle with the sniper. That one might actually shoot back at us. That's one. That means there's only ten of them left. Great. Uh, let's let them fire at will. They'll find someone to shoot at. Oh, two down. Dear Lord, guys. What are you... What have you been eating? Okay. Yeah, maybe target that guy. They do have a sniper rifle. Ouch. Come on, come on, drop him, drop him, drop him. How is this guy? How have they not attacked you? Okay, we've taken it three of them and they're still going to just... Come on. Well, that guy's actually... You're busy, I get it. Oh, oh, oh. That guy's actually shooting back. That... Nope, that's not allowed. Go away, go away. No shooting back. Um, nope, oh, they're moving, they're moving. Okay, right, time to... Uh, time to retreat. Ow. Okay, good shot, buddy. Uh, I'm going to take great pleasure in shooting you. All right, we should only have to kill a few more now at this point. The rest of them are going to run around the corner and... Hey, how you doing? Oh, you're dead. And the next one should run around the corner and go... Hey, how you doing? Oh, and your shield is already broken. You're down. You're down. You're dead. And the rest of you... <laughs> All right. A carefully prepared ambush and the result is... Oh, we got a prisoner. Well, the rules are we have to capture whoever we down, so... Yeah, looks like we're taking someone. Please tell me they've got at least most of their limbs left. Well, okay, we took off a leg. I mean, could have been worse, could have been worse. Damn it, damn it, damn it. 
I think we have to load everyone into the ship, though, before we go. Let me do some fiddling around and see what, what, what uh, if they have anything worth stealing while we're here. We'll send in two of our people to have a look, namely because they're going to be exposed to corpses. The rest of our people will leave back. There's no point them having a look at all the dead bodies that are lying about the place. We can't do an emergency tend on that person because they're, uh, well, unfortunately, we don't have any unreserved prisoner sleeping spaces. Though maybe in a minute we will. Uh, if we do, we'll save them and bring them with us. And beds. Okay, perfect. You're all for prisoners. Okay, I I guess that's where their their boss slept in that one room on their own. Okay, weird looking compound. Weird looking compound. We're gonna take what we can and get out of here. Uh, we're trying to capture that prisoner if we can. We're gonna take all their meals and stuff. Let's uh, give them a bit of a tend. Destroy this. We can deconstruct it, even though we don't really need the components. In fact, uh, let's deconstruct everything we can. We're tending to this uh, potential new recruit. Let's hope they survive. If they do, we'll start with the recruitment process. And yeah, 10 hours, yeah, we'll definitely get that done. They may get a little bit of infection, but who cares? Any animals are worth taking with us? Hmm, we, uh, do we need the meat? Maybe we'll take a few animals with us when we're going. All right, we've got the prisoners sorted. Someone took their pants off. We've managed to kill a bunch of animals. It's time to leave the map. Now, if we just do set to load, we should just be able to go, yeah, take all of those. Where's the prisoner? Well, this is annoying. I can't find a way to load the prisoner. It won't let me. They don't show up here no matter what I do. Dead bodies show up. Prisoners don't. I then even got rid of the prisoner space, so they're just a downed enemy. But, yeah, still can't load them up. All right. Um, Looks like we're not taking that prisoner with us. Kind of a disappointment. Let's uh, maybe... Can we rename them? I think I've got a rename mod installed, so we should be able to rename them just in case we ever run into them again. Nope, can't rename them. We'll just have to remember that it's Darcy. Anyway, let's uh, load up this shuttle and get out of here. We, we got what we came for anyway. And we're out of here. That should fly us all the way back to the home base. There we go. Quest completed. Uh, your caravan has lost the following people and animals have been lost to the Darcy. Oh, the, wait, wait, you wouldn't let us bring the prisoner... Mm, never mind. Uh, boom, we're home. And where are you going to land? Guys, that's way over at the edge. And there, we took all the chairs with us, of course. And there's a whole bunch of other junk we grabbed while we were there. And a bunch of corpses. Ooh, that's a lot of corpses. Perfect, we'll allow that. Uh, hold those urgently. We need those back in the fridge as soon as possible. In fact, I think we'll take everything here. All right, that worked out perfectly. And our construction project has been continuing apace as we have been gone. And everyone else is doing their thing. Oh, damn it, tomboy, please. Yeah, this guy went berserk again. Fortunately, we didn't remove anything, but we're going to put him back to no interact, uh, you know, just reduce resistance for now. I was trying to recruit them because they finally got over their smoke leaf withdrawal, but now they're back to just being useless because they've got themselves beaten into a pulp. Ah, uh, damn it. Uh, maybe we'll move them down there. That might be a good idea. We'll uninstall the bed and have them move down. All right, let's get back to uh, building up our, our, our next quest. We do have a choice to make, though, with a few things. One is the honor we just got given. I'm thinking... Hmm... I'm thinking Zach Loveless is going to get this. They're number 19. Wait, what the? Why? Does it have to be someone who went there? Oh, wow. That's actually kind of lucky we took Zach with us. So it's only the people who went on the mission can get given the honor. Oh, that would have been nice to know before we started. Luckily, we're choosing Zach anyway to give the honor to. Uh, the reason we're giving that to Zach... Well, Zach here has Sanguine as a, normal, as a trait, so it's a plus 12 mood effect. We're not going to be getting them a nice bedroom, so tough. They will just have to suck it up. At the same time, what we can do here is we can accept that quest. That quest is going to be their... Uh, oh, do we, did, they don't even get a bestowing ceremony? Free holder title. Uh, yeah, 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 whatever. The title of free old cannot be inherited. Uh, they, got, they only got the first level. That's unfortunate. But we also managed to gain a new recruit while we were out and about. So that's Grimville. Yeah, where are you? Okay, this one. All right, please welcome our newest colonist, Big Papa Nurgle. Unfortunately, that's not going to fit, so eh, we're going to have to take an E off the end. So, Big Papa Nurgle, welcome to the team. You are a slow learner, unfortunately, which means you're going to not learn anything very quickly. That's a 75% debuff, so that means anything you can really learn is construction or intellectual, and even then it's slowly. I think you'll just be construction, and that is it. The rest of your time shall be spent hauling and cleaning, because there's, you're not going to learn anything fast at all. All right, back to building this. We need to get this finished as soon as possible. I'd really like to get this quest knocked out before we accept the next one, which is the Rewarded Warfare. Uh, this one should... How much of a time we got left in this? 11 days. Plenty of time, especially considering it's mostly going to be wood we're using. What the hell? 
It's the same guy going on a fire starting spree again. Did you just go on a fire starting spree just five minutes ago? What the hell, man? Seriously. I, that's just... No, if it wasn't for the fact that you're an Empire troop and killing you would get me in trouble, I would definitely find a way to kill you. Okay, Eric here is also having a bit of a corpse obsession. Yeah, it's just one of those days, isn't it? Yeah, masterwork. Yeah, a masterwork wooden table. Great. Um, hmm. Did you just put a corpse there? That's, uh, yeah, not cool. Just not cool at all. All right, then. Uh, we'll uh, have that corpse maybe... You know what? I think we'll assign that into one of these. I think people can... I don't know if a corpse needs to be in here for people to meditate at this, or mm, you can have them come over here as a form of recreation to go to sar sarcophagus and stuff like that, but we might as well put an enemy in there for now and see what it does. Well, turns out you can do it. Uh, let's see if anyone actually uses that as a recreational type. At the same time, how are we doing over here? This is actually going up a lot faster than I thought it would. I know we have a decent team and all that, but I thought with the sheer size of it, it would be a problem, but... Using wooden walls cuts down on the amount of work per tile, and these are actually flagstones, not proper, you know, work tiles. So there's nine work to actually create one. Yeah, this should be pretty quick. So Randy has decided that Pseudonym needs to have a bad day. So our 26th colonist has just gotten muscle parasites, and then shortly thereafter it's gotten gut worms. Yeah, I, I see lots of mental breaks in your future. Just, just lots. Oh, you're also jealous. Oh, you're jealous, and you've got all those things. I don't even feel bad for you. It's the sickly that's doing it to you. Well, yeah, they're going to have a few mental breaks. Siege. Wait, this isn't part of our quests. Ah, damn it. Oh, and they're drop podding in. Okay, so they're going to drop pod in beside their, uh, in, inside of our outskirts wall, which is fine. They're then going to siege you up. Then, oh, we'll probably leave some doors open for them so they can get around to the kill box. Time to bring all our animals and all our people back inside. Give me a minute. No fair. We're out of time. It's gone past... <laughs> We're past the mark, okay, um, but let's, let's at least have a quick look at what's coming down. I had to do some tricky stuff with this grizzly bear here, I wasn't sure how to get them back, so instead I locked some doors here. They should come around this way and go in, and that donkey should go down this way, unless they try and go that direction. But we'll find out in a minute, but we might lose a donkey, but we should hopefully keep the grizzly bear alive. Let's see what we're dealing with here. Uh, 44, yeah, whatever, and 7. Oh god, hey. that is 51 humans. Only one doomsday, though. One doomsday? Doddle. No problems at all. Only one minigun? What are they equipped? Oh, lots of snipers. Never mind. Pretty weak sauce raid, now that I think about it. That's what, 51 humans? That, we have 47. Um, really weak sauce. I was expecting a lot more from you, Randy. Okay, uh, sorry, don't take that personally, Randy. Sorry, sorry, didn't mean it, didn't mean it. Okay. <laughs> I think uh, next episode will be, we'll just hit them with a few mortar shells. We'll leave some doors open here. Actually, I think we will leave that door open. Yes, yes, yes. That donkey will pass through there, leave that door open. And then we can mortar these. They'll get annoyed and then they'll come down through this door and come into our kill box where we shall murder them. Oh, open that door and open that door. Why are those closed? They should be open all the time. Anyway, I uh, was really hoping to keep this going for just, just, just one more recruit. If we got up to seven recruits, that'd be a new record for the day. I know we haven't really been uh, massing out on the recruitment recently, but we were just so close. Look at all of this. We had three of them already pre-broken, ready to go. We were just... All, they, all you had to do was hold off for one more day, Randy. Just one more day and we could have broken the record. Uh, anyway, we'll, uh, we'll get this finished and we'll wipe out the pirates in the next episode. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Good luck. <laughs>